Hey, John Foss here talking with Jamie Denbo and Georgia Flood about their new show, American Princess. It airs at 9 p.m. on Sundays on Lifetime. Thank you guys so much for being here and tell us about the show. Oh my gosh. Um, the show is about an Upper East Side socialite, Amanda, who is a runaway bride and uh, has a, a, well, is running away because she has a Amanda. catastrophe on her wedding day and winds up at a Renaissance festival and uh, stays there for a while to try and get her head together. And Jamie, it sounds like this idea came from some life experiences. Tell us about that. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It is inspired by my true experiences working on the Renaissance Festival circuit, which I did uh, 20 years ago. Um, when I, um, and I, uh, I stumbled upon the Renaissance Festival circuit thinking it was just kind of a, a summer job doing Shakespeare in the park. But it was not. It was very different, and I was sort of escaping from my very conventional college kids live in the town your parents live in life. And I wound up uh, at the Renaissance Festival and decided not to leave for a while. <laughs> Great. And uh, Georgia, how did you get involved with this show? Uh, I did a tape from Melbourne, Australia, and then they flew me over, and then I, it was like two days. And, and then said, we have our main character. <laughs> <laughs> She's American. Just kidding. Yeah. She's Australian. I'm Australian. Um, and they, they cast me from uh, over the Pacific, and then I flew over, and then I did, did the show. But what was great <laughs> about her being Australian, even though it's called American Princess, um, is that you know, Amanda, our main character, really experiences an entire new life, an entire new world. And to a certain degree, we really saw that in Georgia, coming from another country and being here and being in Hollywood yeah. and being suddenly thrust into a whole new world. So a parallel experience it was really, going on. It really worked. Jamie, is there anything in the show that happened that you basically like plucked out of your past life experience working at a Renaissance Festival or very close? And if so, very close. can you give us an example? Well, there was definitely some romance that I experienced in my days at the Renaissance Festival. And let's just say that this is definitely a romantic comedy. Um, there are absolutely, there are mud guys who perform in mud pits uh, all <laughs> over the eastern seaboard and some places in the Midwest. And we definitely took from them and decided to put them in the show. And uh, the washer wenches are based on a real act uh, that exists all over this country. Um, so there's a ton of inspiration. You know, a lot of the characters come from these um, amalgams of people that I knew and got to experience while I was working at the fair. And some of them were really, really kind to me and very warm and embracing. And some of them I had to work a little harder to earn their respect. Yeah. So we put that in there for sure. I've seen the first four episodes. Oh, it's awesome. very funny. You kept watching. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Georgia, what was your favorite scene to shoot in this oh my show? Oh, God. Uh, episode four was definitely a highlight. Episode four. Um, I can't. I honestly can't really remember. Like I was watching it last night, and I was like, I don't remember doing that or saying that. Um, but uh, well, I loved watching you as Amanda deal with the whole idea of of consent and Me Too yeah. and the idea that sometimes the fair can be a very highly sexualized environment, mm. um, and how do we rectify that? Yeah. So watching you deal with that, particularly in episode four, which airs this Sunday, um, it was really interesting to watch, mm. you know? And I thought you were amazing in that scene. Thank I don't know you. if it's your favorite, but it was one of mine. Yeah, I mean, are they, I couldn't, I don't know if I could say a, a favorite. They're all so different, but they were all such a blast. I think the scenes where we're just like kicking back laughing and you can tell that the actors are enjoying themselves. Mm -hmm. the campfire and the scenes. The campfire scenes. Mm -hmm. And the character, oh, the drunk scenes. Oh yeah, That's my favorite. Fun. Listen, drunk that scenes That was my favorite. Fun. We weren't really drunk. No. We were not. At all. We were not drinking Nothing. on the set was had. Nope. I don't, I don't know if yeah, I believe you. Yeah, we had a, we did like an, uh, when Amanda was going through her little phase, we did a, a, a montage scene that they've included in the in the pilot, and that was the funnest, because they just rolled the cameras, and they were like, okay, be be tipsy. Okay, now be a bit more drunk. Okay, now be wasted. <laughs> and I would just be going, and everyone was laughing. Amanda and, definitely yeah. struggles with a little bit of an alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> and Jamie, you have a very diverse and deep resume. I'm sure everything's extremely different, but what is your favorite thing to do? You know, I'm a really good multitasker, so I loved being a showrunner and creator because I got to do all of the things at once. Um, I, I, don't, I, I do like acting once in a while, but I don't like auditioning. Um, and I don't like being rejected, so I don't miss that part. Um, but I love doing wearing a bunch of different hats at the same time. I'm a mom, so I'm used to sort of like handling a bunch of problems from a bunch of different people. So it was kind of a natural fit. 
Georgia, you are from Australia and pretty new to acting in the in the United States. What is the difference between acting in Australia and acting in the United States? Is there a difference? The catering. <laughs> okay. Is it better? Yes. <laughs> I was like the first thing I did when I got on set. I was like taking all these photos of the of the catering. You have like five different catering trucks and like these big spreads with like buffets. We and don't mess like, around. We just have like biscuits. No, no, no. <laughs> no biscuits. We want biscuits with cheese and egg and, you know, caviar yeah. and lobster. Like they took my, he took my omelet order and like they brought me food in, into the truck and I was just like, what is happening? Food is a big priority for us here. It's probably just... It's the, it's just a it's bigger population, more money, all that kind of stuff. So everything's just the same, but just bigger. <laughs> Next time we do this interview, we're yeah. gonna have to do it on the set because I want to get in on some of this, this these meals that you're talking about. Oh here. yeah, absolutely. We Come will share have... one of our bacon burritos. Yes. With you. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, same. <laughs> all right. Well, Jamie, Georgia, great job. I can't wait to see the rest of the season. And Twin Cities, make sure you check out American Princess. It airs at nine o'clock on Sunday nights on Lifetime. Go. Thank you guys Daniel. so much. Thank you. Thank you.